because like I said, for a while I'm a lot less. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think coaching and training in general, fitness right now, has, has became much better in programming, uh, much better in um, learning those energy systems. But as a guy, I mean, all I do is dissect movement. That's it. Dissect movement, and then we go through progressional phases to help with pain and move into different things like that. Movement is one thing that's really been not left behind, but it's like that cousin dude. Not even cousin, but why is it cousin? You got a rope tied to movement that's just kind of dragging along. Your back. It's getting pulled along. It's not really kind of way behind. Really, it's way behind. And there is not one good menu pattern for it. There, there's not. There's, there's core. There's core values. Quarter extreme. You operate quarter extreme. Um, things like that. I mean, to see that. You have to address it. But, that's the one thing that's that's that's, that's just bugged me. That it has it has to come along as well. And with the, um, touching on the personality thing, I think you're totally I totally agree with that. You have people who know a ton but can't tell it to people. Yeah, they can't, can't get it. Out. You have people who don't know a lot, but they're great at telling people anything they want to know. They want to know. I think it all comes down to you take one person and you fill them with value, with value, and you empower them in the value that you're giving them. So they they know what they're talking about. They have a really good base of it. Whether they get their personality or not, they see something, and if they they want to be coached, they got that coaching, and they want they want to help people in general. Yeah. If you're if you're coaching, you're not trying to help people. You need to find something else to do. Because that's that's not what you need to go find another job. Yeah, if you don't like people, you don't need a coach. Um, but they they have that in them. They want to be a coach. So all of a sudden, they get all this value coupled with knowledge in them. They're not going to be able to do anything but help people because yeah. they've been filled up, whether they have personality or not, because they've been filled up with the stuff that backs, hey, I don't know how to start a conversation, but I know how to help Bob here with a squat. <laughs> yes. I guess something like that. So I'm definitely agree with that healthcare is coming from, or healthcare fitness, which is healthcare, has come a long way. But with that, you got to pull everything along and say, if we're going to make this a ground base, we got to help we got to make it solid. Yeah. But I definitely think it's in a better place than well. Yeah, I mean, you're right talking about it, like in that pyramid, we, we kind of skip the movement pyramid piece because it's not fun. And it's a lot of working with PDC by doing your squats and um, I do three reps and then we'll stop you and I'm going to fix something. And then it's do three reps. And it's hard. External kicking is hard. Yeah. Like to sit there, like it's easy to, hey, we're going to do. 2159 of these movements. We're going to this energy system. We're going to. It's not easy, but it's easy because you can pre plan them. Yeah. So you have to really know your movement, your actual movement skills well. And when you see something moving poorly, what do you do to address that? And then not only, okay, we, so we've discovered that they're moving poorly. We're starting to identify why they're moving poorly. Now we have to correct it. Okay. It's not as simple as grabbing the hips and moving them back. It's not as simple as that. It's saying, saying hey, I've got to find the cue that's going to work for this person. Yeah. You may be six or seven cues deep before you find the right one. So you gotta yeah. have all these things in your mind to go after and pitch to somebody. And that's hard. 